Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over an explanation of what torque is, and then I'll go over a couple of examples to help you understand that explanation. But what is torque? In the textbooks, and you often hear people talk about torque in different ways, one common way is to say torque is a tendency of a force to cause an object to rotate about an axis. People will often say torque is a turning force. It causes something to rotate. Another common description of torque, is people will say, is torque is the lever arm times the force, or the force times the lever arm, or sometimes they'll even say just the distance times the force. Because the torque is dependent upon two things. First of all, it's dependent upon the magnitude of the force, and it's also dependent upon the distance away from the pivot point that the force is applied. Okay, I'll go over a couple examples to show you that in just a moment. So torque is often simply said it's the force times the lever arm. Mathematically, torque is defined as the cross product of the lever arm distance vector and the force vector. So I think those are kind of three common definitions or description of torque that you'll see. Now, torque, if the net torque produced by forces that are acting on an object is greater than zero, then the object will experience rotational acceleration. Just like when we have translational motion or straight line motion with Newton's second law, if the forces are unbalanced or if the net force is greater than zero, then the object will experience translational or straight line acceleration. But in this case, it's torque, and if the torques are unbalanced, then the object will experience rotational acceleration. Now, torque is a vector quantity, which means it must be described by its magnitude and its direction, and this is the equation we use to calculate the magnitude of torque. This is the Greek letter tau. This is the symbol we use for torque, and the torque is equal to r times f times the sine of theta. Well, what are r, f, and theta? r is simply the straight line distance from the axis of rotation to the point of application of the force. It's the distance away from the axis of rotation that the force is applied. F is simply the force, and theta, I think this is the little confusing thing about theta, excuse me, about the torque is theta. Theta is always the angle between R and the force vector. So to calculate torque, you just multiply R, F, and sine theta. There's no reason to use the cosine, just R, F, sine theta. Now the metric units for torque, we're multiplying a distance times a force, so the metric units are meter newton. Sometimes people write that as newton meter, and then they'll get a little confused because they'll think, oh, a newton meter, that's a joule. But that's those, not those, but joules is the uh, units for energy and work. This is torque. So we cannot write it as a joule. You can write meter newton or newton meter, but not joule. Okay, let's go over a couple of examples. Here we have an example. Common example, this purple bar is a door. This is the radial vector. It extends from the axis of rotation along the, to the end of the object. This is the vector along which we're going to measure R. You're looking at the door from the top, looking down onto the door. This is the axis of rotation. These are just the door handles for reference. And there's a force that is applied to the door in such a way that that force makes an angle of 130 degrees between the radial vector or the extension of the radial vector and the force vector and the force is 45 newtons. All right, now, what are R, F, and the sine of theta? It should be pretty straightforward now. R is the distance from the axis of rotation to the point where the force is applied. Well, in that case, in this case, R is simply 0 0.8 meters. F is the force, we've given the force. Theta is the angle between the radial vector and the force vector, it's 130 degrees. So now all we have to do is calculate the torque. Torque is RF sine theta, R is 0 0.8 meters, and F and theta, when we multiply the force times the sine of theta, what we're doing in a sense is we're finding the component of this force that is perpendicular to R. And we can show that in just a moment. We're gonna calculate R is 0 0.8 meters. I'm gonna multiply F times the sine of theta, F is 45, the sine of theta is 130, excuse me, the angle is 130. When we do this, 45 times the sine of 130, we get the component of the force that's perpendicular to the door that's represented by this yellow arrow. There's also a component of the force that's parallel to the door, that component produces no torque, only the part that is perpendicular to the door. So now we can just multiply those three values and we get that the torque is 27.6 meter newton 
and that the torque vector points out of the board or out of your computer screen or out of your piece of paper. Now I put a positive sign here because this force produces positive torque. Forces that cause objects to rotate in the counterclockwise direction produce positive torque by definition. So I put positive 27.6 meter newton and the torque vector points out of the board. The torque vector is always perpendicular to the plane created by the radial vector and the force vector. In this case, using the right hand rule, we point our fingers along R and then we curve them towards the force vector and then our thumb points in the direction of the tor torque vector and that would be pointing out of the page. Okay, so that's all we got to do RF sine theta. Let's go over one more example. In this case, it's the same door. You're looking down. Here's the axis of the rotation. Here's the door handles. The door is 0.8 meters wide. There's this force that's applied. The force is not applied at the end of the door. It's applied one-tenth of a meter in from the end of the door. The force is 55 newtons, and the angle between the force and the door in this case is 120 degrees. Now, what I like to do is I like to move the force vector to the side of the door, the side of the object in which it's rotating. So it's going to be rotating up. So I like to extend the line of the force in such a way that now I have basically have my force on the other side. In that case, if this is 120, then this is 60 degrees. Now I can calculate the torque because I know R, R is not 0.8, R in this case is 0.7 meters because it's a one-tenth in. F is 55 theta is in this case is 60. That's the angle between the radial vector and the force vector, 60 degrees. So I'm just going to calculate R, F, sine theta. And once again, when I multiply F times the sine of theta, what I'm doing in a sense is I'm finding the component of the force that is perpendicular to the R because it's only the component of the force that's perpendicular that produces any torque. 0 0.7 is the is R, F sine theta. Now, once again, I put these in parentheses. You normally probably wouldn't do that, but 55 times the sine of 60 gives us the component of the force that's perpendicular to the door. There's another component that's parallel to the door that doesn't produce any torque. If I multiply all those, I get 33.3 meter Newton. Once again, the object's gonna be rotating in the counterclockwise direction, positive torque, and the torque vector points out of the board. All right, now I wanna point out, um, in this case, this angle I use 60 degrees. You could also use the 120 because the sine of 60 and the sine of 120 are the same. But I like to move the vector on the side to the side of the op where the object is moving in a sense. And then I have this angle is my angle theta. All right, so there you go. That is a brief explanation of what torque is. And that is how you calculate torque. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you could do all of the following three things. Subscribe to my channel. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a thumbs up for this video and leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.